Andrew McCarr, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Billy Nelson's gym with me. I've got big heavyweight Martin Bacoli. Hmm. As always, it's good to see you, Martin, because you've always got a smile on your face. You put a smile on my face, so oh, yeah. how have you been? I'm okay, do you? I'm very, very good. Yeah. Well, let's just jump straight into the nitty gritty. You've uh, signed a deal with Matchroom and Eddie Hearn. Uh, just talk to me about that and how happy you are. No, I'm so happy. Like you can see in my face. And the time you walk in here, you always find me work hard. So uh, I want firstly to thank Machun for this big opportunity and thank my coach, Bill Nelson, be a coach and manager, and uh, someone who helped me in this, Anton Joshua. And uh, I'm looking forward, and I'm so excited to be uh, a Machun team, you know. So I'm so happy. And this is big, big chance and big opportunity for me to show to everyone who's Martin Bacol now. And what I was looking for, and today, God helped me, I've got that, so it's time now to work. What I was looking for, I have it now, so it's time now to shine and it's time to show pe to people who's Martin Bacol now. Definitely. Well, you've got that opportunity Opportunity on August 2nd. Yeah. You're fighting on the Next Gen show. Yeah. I mean, you've just signed a match room and already they've got you on a card. I mean, is that what you're hoping for? Stay busy, stay active, get as many fights as you can and hopefully get that big, huge fight, whoever it may be, maybe tail end of the year, beginning of the next year? Yeah, of course, we're looking forward on that. Uh, boxing is my, my work. This is my work. So... Uh, I take too long after my last fight. I didn't fight. I was looking for a good promoter, and today I've got much room. So I'm looking forward to to fight on two in Liverpool. After that, I, uh, I think maybe the end of the year I'll fight for the title, maybe in Glasgow. So I'm looking forward. So anything uh, it's coming in my way, I'll, I'm ready to face it. Definitely. Well, right now. The heavyweight scene is is is, is, is good. It's it's uh, it's building up. It's getting it's getting better and better and better. I mean, better. as I said, it, like, years and years and years day. ago, it was dead. It was yeah. stagnant. But now you've got the fights at the weekend there. Joe Joyce and Dave, uh, Daniel Dubois yeah. and uh, Nathan Gorman. I mean, it's an exciting time for the heavyweights, isn't it? Yeah, very exciting. You know, everyone now is looking. Everyone wants to be a champion now. Everyone is in the gym working hard. So you want to show to people who is the best. So it's a very good time. Uh, everywhere it is now not like before so we have a lot of everywhere now if you check in the boxing rank we have like more than thousand and hundred something like that so we, we a lot and everyone to, uh, want to be a best so I'm very exciting and today I'm in much room promotion so in much room I've got a lot of everywhere so I think it will keep me busy so I'm so excited did you watch the, the fights at the weekend, Joe Joyce yeah, and yeah. Uh, David the World Goldman fight? Did you watch it? I do, I do watch it. And uh, you remember the last time I told you my opinion. So what I tell you where? Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I t last time you walk in here, I told you my opinion, you know. Uh -huh. I tell you, you know, Dubois is going to stop Goldman. Mm -hmm. If Goldman is going to stay and fight him because Dubois has got power. More power than Goldman. So I don't think government will take it because I spar two of them and it work. The boy win is a British now champion now. So congratulations boy. Keep going man. What about Joe Joyce? I mean a couple maybe was a year and a half ago to a year ago maybe. There was some sort of talk. I mean your coach Billy and uh, Joyce's manager Sam Jones were going back and forth because Billy was trying to get the fight with you with Joe Joyce. Did you watch Joe's fight against uh, Brian Jennings and uh, what was your thoughts on that? Yeah, uh, he's a tough guy, but uh, he's not using his boxing brain. He's a tough guy, but he have to learn more, you know. He's, uh, he's a little bit poor on working and more more punch, you know. Mm -hmm. It's only one, two, one, two, three. It's hard for him to go to four punch. Mm -hmm. And the guy was a little bit uh, heavy than him. He was big, heavy than the guy. He should stop him, but the guy was having hard and the stand is a man, you know. So for me, Joe, uh, Joe Joyce, he has to work hard because if he keep going like that, he will not going far. Because if he think in power, boxing is power, he won't do anything. Today, everyone can see what happened to Joshua. He's got power, but you can see what happened. Mm -hmm. Boxing, you have to use your brain. 
you have to use your power everything when you're in the ring so use your head your hand your body so everything must be on elbows knees yeah <laughs> speed especially speed mm -hmm. more punch you know he was expecting for KO and it didn't happen so go on the point so you have to keep busy in the ring working hard make points so that's it I'm gonna put a promoter's hat on you pretend you're a promoter right who would you like to face? I mean, there's Daniel Dubois, the British champion, Joe Joyce, who you just spoke about. But the, again, there's good heavyweights out there, Chisora, Dave Allen, there's some quality, not just in the UK, but Europe and worldwide. But yeah. if you were a promoter and you had a guy like Mark Bacoli, yeah, who would you put him in ring with? After the fight, uh, I think we will sit down and talk with my coach. No, you're a promoter, so my, you, you give me a name. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I always want Michael Hunter too. Michael Hunter? You want Martin Bacoli, Michael Hunter too. That is my dream. I want that in March. You're both at Matchroom? Of course. That's why I was here, so happy uh, to sign with Mike uh, with Matchroom because I think it will get me that easy. If Michael Hunter is ready, if not, because we have a same promoter now, we can have a match here in the UK or in America. So I'm looking, I'm so excited about that. And uh, Firstly, I want to be focused on this because it's my first time in the match room undercut. So I have to be focused, look sharp, mm -hmm. try to stop this guy because he's a good guy. And uh, I have to stop him first and looking forward now to who's next. So, firstly, in my mind, is my, uh, my first fight with match room. That's it. You're obviously happy about that. Oh yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. You, you mentioned fight. You mentioned fighting in America. Is that a dream of yours to go over stateside? Yeah, I think I'd say in America. If maybe Michael went there, we can fight there in America, because Eddie's everywhere. He's here in the UK. He's in America. I saw last show in Italy. So anywhere, anywhere I can go. That's quite interesting that you want the Michael Hunter rematch. Yeah, yeah so even my coach always tell him, even him I want that, I want that match because I have to show people that, that the first one was a mistake. So if he beat me again, he's a good. He's a good fighter. Yeah, he's a good fighter <laughs> and he beat Martin McCoy, I'll, I'll check hand and say he's a man. Okay, well, yeah. definitely. Well, again, August 2nd, you're out. You, you, you look bigger, I must admit. Have you, have you been working on your upper body because yeah, your shoulders yeah. look bigger and your chest yeah, looks yeah. bigger? Yeah, I'm looking big. Not only big speed, mm -hmm. working on uh, everything. Um, looking a little bit big because I'm working. My coach is pushing me to work hard, uh, push up, uh, some exercise. Mm -hmm. So everything. So on two, I have to look sharp, to look 100% okay, to look uh, to show to everyone that I'm a old class boxer. So I'm working hard with my coach. Like you can see, I'm looking tough. <laughs> looking big. <laughs> big. Big. Not only big, but big and speed. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. One last question. I know you're good friends with Anthony Joshua. Oh, Get yeah. quick. Yeah. Who would win the rematch? Joshua Ruiz. Go. Joshua. That is my best friend. <laughs> stupid, question, stupid question. Yeah, yeah. No. Joshua will win that. Uh, I was saying, maybe, I don't know if he's in uh, Nigeria or is here because. No, he's, he's, was, he's in Nigeria. He's in yeah. Nigeria, yeah. yeah. Uh, champ, enjoy. Nigerian people, I, I, I can see in Instagram, you posting some video. So take care, come back quickly, go back to the gym, be focused for rematch. I know you can do that. So I want to thank you again for helping me with uh, Match Room. You're a good guy. Let God bless your family, bless you for everything that you've done to your friend and family. Thank you both. He's my boxing family, he's my friend. So I want to thank him a lot and thank my coach here. Really nice song. There is, yeah. Lovely guy. Lovely. Serious, serious. Yeah, well, lovely guy. You think he's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> good guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. Martin, as always, man. Thank pleasure. You. Thank, thank you very you much for the interview. No yeah. problem at all. And uh, as I might see you on August 2nd. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much, Martin. Thank Cheers, you. Bye.